Hi everyone, this is Sphinx. Um, this is my garage band tutorial on drum kits. Uh, I have a cold right now, so it's probably the worst fucking time to do a tutorial, but, you know, I'm bored, so here you go. Uh, yeah, so a while ago you guys were asking me about drum kits and how I make it sound uh, professional. I guess that's the word I, I could use. Um, well, it's a long, complicated, tedious process. Uh, I'm just trying to think where to start. Well, I assume when you guys uh, open up a new project, you start off with your grand piano and your little keyboard thing. As you can see, in my drum kits, I have all these uh, presets that I've made using GarageBand presets. I just <laughs> edited them. Um, right. I think most of you that use GarageBand are a um, sort of using it for dubstep or trance dance, sort of electronic music. So, I guess I'll use that sort of form of drum kit to, you know, help you guys out. So A1, A1, load up, take it down. okay, there we go. Right, so A1 is initially a pop kit. Oh, wrong one, sorry. And when you're in your drum kits, you get dance, hip hop, jazz, pop, rock, and techno. Now the dance, it's a weird sound, it's kind of flat, it's dull, it doesn't really give that oomph. So try not to use that, at least not just by itself. The hip-hop kit has an interesting sound, it's, it does sound like hip-hop, it's kind of a long continuous bass, like doom, doom. So that, one, that one's okay, comes in handy. Jazz kit, jazz kick, that's jazz kit, <laughs> sorry. That's a, um, yeah, that's a pretty standard sort of kick. Pop kit, you know. Same as jazz, a bit more heavy. Rock kit, same as pop, a bit more heavy. Techno kit, that's the one that gives you the oomph, the boof, boof, which you want in dubstep. But this is my first kick in my drum kit, and I chose pop kit. So, I generally tend to leave all this where it is, never touch it. But with compression, I'm fairly certain I've edited this to specifics. So having the, the threshold at minus 45 decibels, it creates a sort of a sharp attacking sound. And the ratio being high, that just you know complements that sharp attacking sound and the attack. Again, it just makes it all sharper basically. And then um, you get up your kicks, you know, make yourself a little bar and put in your kicks. And that's a good place to start. Uh, now, one thing you can do that will make these two things um, work in tandem is when you select your kicks, your kick notes, or on the bar, piano roll, I don't know what you guys use. The thing velocity is quite important. Obviously, if it's down here, it's going to be a light kick. You're not really going to notice it. 80 is the standard. Don't know why it's at 80, it just that's where it starts. I tend to put it at 100 because it's not too much, not too little. My gain is at 23 decibels because that works with my 100 velocity thing. Okay, so there you go. We have the visual EQ, which you definitely, definitely have to manually you know, fiddle with. Uh, so you open it up, uh, make sure it's on. You know, you have all these. Don't don't use them because it just seems like whoever uh, created GarageBand made these in about five minutes. It's kind of annoying, actually. Um, uh oh, you can make a preset. I never even knew that. Well, there you go. You can make a preset when you're watching this. Right. So as you can see, there's quite you know a, a change in stuff going on here. So if you get your details up, oh, uh, you guys can copy this if you like. All this stuff. Um, so as you can see, 45 hertz, 10 decibels, blah 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 blah. So as I was talking about the sharpness, the um, the attack of the kick with all the, the compression and whatnot, it definitely helps to have the treble quite high because that again gives it more oomph, gives it that kick, that uh, sound. Uh, the high mid being slightly down, for lack of a better word, uh, creates a. I don't know how to describe it. Well, you know what? Just just copy all these numbers, and then you guys make that kick, and then you'll see what sound I'm trying to explain. 
keep the reverb off the kicks for now. It, sometimes it can be good if you're trying to make an atmospheric, ambient dubstep song. Echo, obviously, you don't want, you know, echo on a kick. It sounds a bit funky. Right, so the last part of this kick is the bass reduction. I have it on here because I'm trying to get that sharp sound, as I've said repeatedly, and it's only at 81 hertz, it's hardly noticeable. But, you know, it's the little things that count, guys. You have to put in the time and effort. And <laughs> I've probably been talking for about five minutes now, and this is only one drum kit, so you can you can see how tedious and um, important every little bit is. So there you go, there's your first drum kick. Um, Command D duplicates the track, so it's A1 again. A2 is my second kick, and this one is a pop kit again, and the only thing that's different in it is, let me just see if the compression's the same, yeah, compression's exactly the same, the only thing that is different is the visual EQ. Just for a few seconds so you guys can look at it and copy it in the long run if you like. Because I cannot begin to explain how having different decibel readings and different hertz change the sound. I just I don't I don't have that knowledge. I can't really explain it. But there you go. You can pause that and go over it. Duplicate a three. Another kick of mine. This time I'm using a jazz kit. So the compression is a lot different from two other kits that were originally pop kits. Um, it kind of this what I've got going on here doesn't really manipulate or change the sound all too much of the jazz kit if I'm not wrong about that the visual EQ as I've said before that's you know, one of the most important bits this tutorial it's kind of like I'm, I was pretty bored so I'm just making it you guys can just copy what I've got and you know, implicate it in the way you want so you've got all your numbers there I hope you guys can see it when I put it on YouTube if not, then I'm going to feel like a massive twat. Duplicate again, and it goes on to A4, which is another kick. Uh, a techno kit, so that's the, the oomph, the uh, I was on about. Uh, yeah, so I didn't really change any of that, that's always the same. Compression looks pretty similar to the Jazz one. Uh, right, so the visual EQ on this one, as you can see, is funky as shit, like, um, again, just have a quick look, take it down if you like, uh, that creates a very sharp, interesting sound, um, okay.